Hi, I'm Tamara with TamaraBlossom.com and today I'm here to talk about EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique. So if you have any emotion that you're dealing with, that you're feeling stressed out, this is a great way to work with your emotions and come back to a place of peace. So today I'm going to work with anxiety and overwhelm because that tends to be one of my things that I have to deal with in my life. And so I'm going to teach you the points and then you can do it with me. You can do the same words as I use or you can use your own or you can watch the video, learn it and do it yourself and it's pretty straightforward. So there's a setup point right here. So we're going to be utilizing acupressure points working with the meridians of the body. So there's a setup point um, right here on the hand. It's like a karate chop point. And don't worry about if you're getting the right points or not. If you get the general area, it's going to help waken that area up and it's going to do its job. So this is the setup point and we're going to tap that and set up your sentence. And then the points are, after that, we're going to start at the top of the head. It's the crown of the head. It's the soft spot on baby's head. You can use both hands or one hand, doesn't matter. Then we're going to come to the um, innermost eyebrow point. Then it's the outside of the eye point the where the after the bone is but not on your temple that's too far then it's going to be underneath the eye on the cheekbone then you have the middle underneath your nose if it's slightly off to the side that's fine then it's the chin point the collarbone point here under your collarbone yeah you can do the other side and then under your armpit on the rib rib cage so maybe a hand width underneath, yeah? Okay, so let's do it together or watch me first and learn it. And so the setup point, karate chop, and I'm gonna at some point probably switch to the other side. I always like to balance, so you'll see me do that. Oh, and before we start, so you have, um, you can notice what you're feeling, you know, take, take a tune into your body, especially if you're doing this when you're actually feeling the, negative emotion or what we would judge as negative emotion so if you're feeling anxious you're feeling afraid you're feeling angry feeling frustrated you're feeling stressed out then you can take um you can scale it for yourself like okay I, if, it's, if it's a zero to ten zero being like a uh, leisurely walk in the in nature be just being totally blissed out and ten being like i am like ready to lose it i'm just like freaking out um, so scale yourself, like, how are you feeling right now? So right now I would say my overwhelm, it's pretty low because I just did some planning before this, but I was feeling pretty overwhelmed. And so maybe I'm at two and I'm going to see if I can come back to a zero. So just tune into your body. That's a great way, great to do before you begin to see the effect it has on you, right? So just tune into your belly. into your solar plexus, Let's tune into your chest and heart area, your throat, your head, and then tune into the crown, the top of your head, and your pelvic floor, the top and bottom. And then just sense your legs, if there's any clenching going on, if there's any heaviness, any tension in your arms. Okay, let's begin. So the sentence will go, even though, fill in the blank, I still love and accept myself, or I still deeply love and accept myself, or I still honor, validate my feelings. So any of that is something that works for you, okay? Even though I am overwhelmed, I still love and accept myself. Even though I get stressed out and I feel as if I'm not in control of my emotions, I still love and accept myself. Even though I get overwhelmed and I can feel anxious, I honor myself and my feelings. I feel anxious. And overwhelmed. I feel anxious and overwhelmed. Both sides. I feel anxious and overwhelmed. I feel anxious and overwhelmed. 
I feel anxious and overwhelmed. Feeling anxious and overwhelmed. Feeling overwhelmed. Feeling anxious. <sighs> Feelings are part of life. I know I get overwhelmed really easily. You know, I feel like I have to control everything. I feel like I have to be doing the best I can. I'm an overachiever. And I feel like I need to be doing something all the time. I have this go, go, go mentality. And if I'm not, I start to feel stressed out, like I'm not doing enough. I still love myself. It's okay to be feeling that way. I still love myself. Ah. Emotions are energy. Emotion, energy and motion. And I know that I can do so many things to channel my emotion effectively. I can go shake my body. I can go sing a song. That's a great way to balance my emotions. I know in, from Chinese theory that if I sing, it overcomes worry. So singing would help me deal with my anxiety and my overwhelm. I know that, and I can, I can choose that. I choose everything that I do in my life. I am the master of my own ship. And even if I do feel anxious and overwhelmed at times, I don't have to be hard on myself that I'm not perfect, that I'm not that I don't have everything under control. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All is well. <sighs> All is well in the universe. And I can just do my best. And I think that if I use my energy allies more often, I would probably prevent myself from feeling so much negative emotion or emotions I call negative. If I, the four energy allies, don't take things personally, don't assume things, probably save, my, save myself so much emotional turmoil. I think the worst is when I feel overwhelmed anxiety and then my something happens and then a frustration comes out and then I project it on my child that is the worst and it's a sense of guilt afterwards and I'm doing my best to reprogram myself and reprogram how I deal with stress I can smile more often I can make it a habit to sing as soon as I step into the kitchen. It's like, I step into the kitchen, that means I sing. I lay on the floor, that means I hum. I roll around on the floor, make myself feel good. Stop feeling like there's a deadline in life, that I, there's something that I have to do by a certain day and certain time. This life is so short and so fleeting. It's going to be gone before I know it. Why waste it feeling anxious and overwhelmed when I can just be enjoying it and the anxiety will never have done anything for me? I choose my life. I choose my direction. I choose how I feel in every moment. I feel so grateful that I have these choices. I can choose. I can choose. I choose. I choose joy, I choose peace. I choose to feel like everything is happening for a reason and everything 
it has its own time because I need to become the person I need to be for the next phase of my life. Yes. I choose to create the story that makes me feel good. I choose a good story. <sighs> I totally love myself and I love my life. And I love that we have so many choices as a human being. And that emotion, I love that our emotion is there because my emotion guides me. And when I'm feeling anxious and overwhelmed, it's telling me that something's not in alignment with who I am. That I'm actually out of alignment with my true self. And that is actually beautiful because then I can choose to do something that will get me in alignment with my true self. So each emotion is helping me get to know myself and get it to know what I want and who I want to be in this life. I'm so grateful for emotion. I'm so grateful for human emotion. I'm so grateful for human emotion. I'm so grateful for human emotion. It's like a guide, guide for me, like the guide posts along the way. Oh, I'm feeling this. Oh, it must mean this. Oh, I'm feeling angry. Oh, I need to set my boundaries or I could change something, right? I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling, I need to find my balance again, to find myself again. So I'm so grateful for this life. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Ah. My last time tapping through, I'm grateful for emotion. I'm in love with my life, in love with myself, in love with this creation, the mystery of everything. <sighs> All right. Tune into your body and see how you feel right now on a scale of 0 to 10. So I felt a 2 before and I feel a 0 right now. I feel great. So see how you feel and use this technique because it's a great mixture of um, affirmation, talking to yourself, meridian work, um, moving, connecting your psyche to your body because we are all one. You know, our emotions, our psyche and our physical, it's not somehow separate. We're, it all works together. So on that note, I have <clears throat> a free gift for you, a Yoni Love Meditation. If you're into that um, and understanding how um, awakening your sexual energy will help you in your life and your radiance, then click on the link to get that. And I'll also leave a link to a mini course I have on befriending your anger, which is so important to just be able to deal with channeling your emotions. So uh, thank you so much. Like this video if this is your first time here today. Thank you so much for watching. Share this with your friends and family, people who you know need this work and um, have a wonderful ride with your emotions. They are a gift. Let's remember that. I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.